Ti és ő mutatában diadúr, azt ő diadúr, azt ő James Wan Bristol. Standard version, but we go merciful and not hear us only, and saving yourselves. But come down, was on the economy, and we do not merely listen to the word and so to save yourselves. Do what it says. And can come on the last version, the New Living Translation, but don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, humanity, you're only informing yourselves. Let's pray. Father God, we just thank you, Lord, that you have made us righteous, Lord God, through the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for your grace, Lord God. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord God. We thank you for what you have done on the cross, Lord, for us, Lord God. Now, as we listen to your word, Lord, we will ask you, Lord, we just welcome you, Holy Spirit. Ipakawad mo kami dito bigyan ng pangawad. Holy Spirit, how you will, Lord. Hallelujah. Tapos di ka started din na sa unang pagnadala ng katangbalang. It will refresh us, Lord God. It will help us, Lord God, to grow more, Lord God, to become more like you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. This we pray in Jesus' name. So ano makikita tayo dito sa unang yung this is just simple, right? Coming from a very practical book. It's just a very practical command. Be a doer of the word. So, no makita dali to. If we say a doer, is a person who is doing something, right? Hindi siya yung mga tao din na doer is doing something. And as a believer in Christ, then the challenge is to be a doer of the word. Dito ba ba na nga doer? It's the the word of God. It's the Bible. So, dito ba the challenge is to do? As we live in this earth. We need to be a doer of the word. So, makita yung it's time. It's very simple. Do what it says. Nung nagrigan nga rami nang sometimes, ano na hindi ko alusot tayo, di ba? Tama, very. It's a very practical command kala tayo. So, nagagbaga dito ni James kala tayo. He's urging every believers nga. At ako maging commitment tayo. As we read the word of God, as we know the word of God, we have to do it. To do it right, Hallelujah. We have to actually do it. It's not just enough to hear the word of God. It's not just enough to read the word of God. But the challenge for us as a believer in Christ, we have to do what it says. Kung nagijay ang dami ng mga remedyo, we have not to do it. So to be a doer of the word of God. Amin na kaya na mo tayo kinapujus his ways. We have to put into action. Amen. So how to be a doer of the word? Asa nung ata? Number one kung ano dito? To be a doer of the word, we must first be a reader of the word. So the Bible, man, how many times do we read our Bible? Ata? Are we every day? Very good. How many times? Manong nga tayo minutes, i-detent tayo in reading the Word of God. Manong nga tayo. I remember when I had a layer of book before, I can not read it. I have time with Nala Agbasa, this is how many of you just, even the Old Testament, nagaroon ko nawasa. And even my son, my challenge is here. Also, kanang nga bubuya di YouTube, so you can. So, sige karoon. Nagbasa ko yung root, nagbasa. Masalang nagbasa, and then I just play the one on the YouTube. Then they play with that. Thirty minutes, medyo maburi yung video. Nagkaroon ko yung buya ako, it's good. One hour, that's a teacher, it's good na na. It's a bad guy lang, so... I need to teach him with that. I need to teach him with that, our kids help. To read the Bible. So, magita tayo, it's just simple. You think? We must first be a reader of the word of God, and this one is a part that it is. My son of another guy from this channel. My son, this is the thing that I do. Some say it's very basic, 
Yeah, it's true. It's very basic. Nga masabog nga evidente, but but we have to put it in action. Read the word. It's very fundamental. Mm -hmm. You know, some people give their tithes and offerings, mm -hmm. but you know, read the word. Right? Some people they sing simbaha and they get the Sergei Church, but they don't need to read the word of God. They just do that. They go to they come to they go to the church every Sunday. I worship the Amen, Hallelujah. Even the preaching, uh, say amen to the preaching, hallelujah, praise the Lord, but don't read the word of God. Quran J, Hebrews 4, verse 12, for the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double edged sword. It penetrates even to devising soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. So, in other words, the word of God has the power to change someone's life. That's why you're here also. Diba? And I introduced ka natin ay sasawa niya ako just because of the word of God we have been changed. Mm -hmm. Alright? And we thank God because the word of God is alive in our people. Kung ano ito? In other words, makatulong na ito ka It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. So we thank God because we have the Holy Spirit who is always there na magtutulong natin to understand the Word. So if we don't read the Word of God and natin mapasama, we are not going to know what it says, di ba? Kasi nung tayo mong mapuhati sa sao niya ako just if we don't read, di ba pagana? Alright? If we don't know what it says, how are we going to do what it says, di ba? The Word of God is alive and active. There are some, frankly, there are some lies and excuses also why people don't read the word of God. And some lang lately, but there are many things. As I'm gonna share with just a few. But I I'm not a strong reader, I did it do. Some say I'm not a strong reader. Or I did a duma gabuta aging is part of life. Ano ka na kung makakita ko na? Ano ka na makita niya kung pasapasa? Or ano ano kung mahilig? Hindi ko hilig magbasa. But you know what? The Bible also was intended to be listened. That you always read me. Tataka tataka siya kung ano siya di ba? We can ask our children to download the Bible app. Kung that you uju na, so it's a free. So no talaga hante mo makabasa. You can, uh, uh, pasura tayo, you can uh, play the, uh, kaya tayo mabasa ang libro. So, there's always a remedy. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So, some say also, I don't have time to read the Bible. There is, these are some lies and excuses for the people. Uh, I have, I don't have time to read the Word. I don't have time to read the Bible. But you know what? If you have time to read, I believe that we have time to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you have time to go to the mall, go on shopping, I don't think we're still going to pass this on now, but just right? If you have time for social media, we have time to read the Word of God. I know it's a part of our life on the social media, but we should use it for the glory of God sometimes. Mm -hmm. Facebook tayo. <laughs> but we have, this is a challenge for us. If you have time to do this social media, we can have also a time to read the Word of God, right? Amen. If you have time to go anywhere or we have time to read the Word of God, amen? I don't believe that we don't have time to read the Word of God. We really have time to read the Word of God. But I need to imagine you for verse 4. Jesus answered, it is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. It's our spiritual food, Karabzat and Christo. It's God-bread. In the honest name, I would just say to you, it's inspired by God. Hallelujah. So we really need that to be sasawa niya, but just for us. 
the question is Manumai or how many times or how many minutes do we really give time for reading the word of God something also I only read uh, the New Testament of Malayan Jai the time to the Duma I said to the Duma Malayan Jai to the Bali the Bali to the Duma the John, John 316. Uh, John 11, 35, the shortest, uh, <laughs> shortest verse, Jesus word. Yeah. But you know what, as a believer in Christ, as we want to do more, it's a uh, uh, challenge that I tell you that we have to read also uh, all the parts of the Bible. It's not only read this book of the New Testament, but all the New Testament. How many books in the Bible do we have? 66, right? So how many authors? There are more than 40. 40. Authors? Well, at least I want to just tell you. I'm not sure if 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 I'm not that not only a part of the Bible na basa ante, but nabanday mo jada duma. And I believe, as we have said, you have the Holy Spirit as always there. I know sometimes, kakaroon nabanday, in the two of us, na nito dito yung makawatan to. Ante yung makawatan. But for me, wala yung mga makawatan, sometimes I just read. But you know what? Pwede kayo nasa mga ako, just sometimes, basa-basa ante yung makawatan to yung mga. And I, and, Kaya yung dadumang talaga namin. May masakot niya na komentaryo na. Kaya mawala yung dadumang. But for us, no one komentaryo na. Just just read the word of God. Read and read the word of God. And i-reveal mo lang niya. But just check it na iba na kada tayo. Hallelujah. Puna na dyan yung Romans 15 verse 4. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us. So even the Gijay na isulad yung Old Testament what was written to teach us also. So that through the endurance to the scriptures and the encouragement to provide, we might have hope. Amen. Hallelujah. Adati nam nama as we read the word of God. It encourages. Hallelujah. Kala namat lang jayin Matthew 5 verse 17. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. Gupagan Jesus said it. I have not come to abolish them but to fulfill them. In other words, the law and the prophets, even the Old Testament, are very important that we need to know also, that we can learn also. As in Apocalypse 36 at that time, we, last week, we are, we are in the book of Daniel, so it's good to study also the prophets, the J, Old Testament, the J book. So it helps us. Some say also, well, I just don't get a lot of it, or hindi na dumang basit mo tayo maalat ko, or I cannot understand. But you know what? The challenge for us, as a believer in Christ, we have to pray. You know, the devil is always the trying to distract us. Talaga kaya na nga, han na nga kaya at may agbasa ka, this is how nga ako Diyos. So mga, nagbasa tayo, ipapati tayo lang tayo. We can resist the devil. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalm 19, verse 18, as we read the word of God, Lord, open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your Lord. This is all now, just Lord, open my eyes. And of course, we trust God in our salvation. Lord. And of course, we, tr we will trust Him also na at least uh, He will help us to open our eyes. Kaya makita tayo lagi dyan eh. Uh, Pagsaya at ang isa sa una. Hallelujah. Some see also, that it is pinakala siguro, but there are some of, the Bible is boring. Hmm. But you know what? As a believer in Christ, we have to ask the Holy Spirit really to help us to read our Bible. That's why Paul, he's challenging the Philippians, the J. Philippians, to work out their salvation. You know, I believe as we work out our salvation, 
sa believer in Christ as we live on this imperfect world na ganun na itinitin siya it's a challenge for us to read our Bible to really know what it says Amen? to really know what it says Psalm 1 Psalm 1 verse 1 to 2 Blessed Blessed is the one who does not walk in step in with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on this law day and night. So, blessed is the one. There is no lesson in knowing the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible is used for instruction for us. It's not for entertainment. It's for instruction for us how to live a holy life. And you know those who search the word, those who know, want to know God are not only wise, but it says here they are blessed. And of course, as we delight and meditate the word of God. Hallelujah. So the challenge for us, what if we read more on the word of God than, I know we, we have Netflix, right? How many hours we watch in the Netflix? Try to compare. What if we won't read more on the Word of God than watching Netflix? What if we stop hanging with those people na tiyada lang nag-gasip, tatangat maritis ka na di ba? What if we stop those and then we can get more on reading the Word of God? Di ba? Hindi mas may ngayon pa yun ba kumatimatan tayo, di ba? So that's number one. To be a doer of the word, we must be a reader of the word. And number two, to be a doer of the word, we must be a believer of the word. Hallelujah. So, pag binasa natin yung salita ng Panginoon, we have also to believe. To be a doer of the word, we must be a believer of the word. Hallelujah. Kailangan na patsyente mo lang as we read the word of God. We have to accept it. We have to trust in the Word. Amen? The Bible is about God. It is written by man through the help of the Holy Spirit. Right? So, nagit kita tayo, for example, if you are looking for a bridge, that hunting a patient that is going to hold you, are you still going to cross on that bridge? No. Because we don't believe na hanggang natin na may gaman, we don't go there. So the challenge for us, as we read the word of God, can accept in Christ, we have to believe. Patient tayo. But something, there are some people who actually don't believe in the word of God. There are some people, was basahan na lang, maybe nabasa lang from cover to cover the word of God, but they don't believe. I'm going to tell you about why there are some people who don't confess their sins. Because they didn't believe in the Word of God. It says in James 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So, now, muna ko malay ito eh. can confess your sins. Managbaso lang. Managbaso lang kami. Some say that managbaso lang kami. Tuloy-tuloy ko. But you know what? The Word of God, if we confess our sins, God is faithful to forgive us. He will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Some say, Temptation was too strong. But you know what? If you know the word of God, as a believer in Christ, we can resist any temptation that's coming to the word of God. We believe in the word, 1 Corinthians 10.13, no temptation has overtaken you except what is called unto mankind. In God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond, beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way so that you can endure it. Makayana to eh. And there's a way, there's always a way that we can resist any temptation that's coming into our life. Look at the, the life of Job also. Diba? And the Kulman in Aparasa. With the help of the Lord. And I believe as we believe in the word of God, 
we know that there is always an escape to temptation. Najayanta we kita mga excuse. Di ba ni na? Di ba ni maging salang Lord na we just magpadala tayo or ang kwa kaya nyo? Di ba ni pang pagbigay lang? Pang pagbigay lang kada gijay barkada. But you know what? As we have the Holy Spirit, we can resist temptation. Same power that raised Jesus from the dead is also living in us. We have the Holy Spirit, right? Hallelujah. So, ang tawa, ubala ang tawa kaya because we are Christian. We have the Holy Spirit. We can resist any temptation that's coming into our life with the help of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Some say also, you know why some people don't tithe because they don't believe in the Word of God. They don't have tithes and offering, but we. We tithe, we give our tithes and offering because we believe in the word of God. Kana na jay malakay three verse eight to ten. Will a mere mortal rob God? Yet you rob me. But you ask, how now we robbing you? And it's about now to just tithes and offering. You are under a curse. Your whole nation because you are robbing me. And then says here, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. That there will be food in my house. Then kula na ni tui. Test me in this, says the Lord, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store to store it. So, but as and even now, we just we have to test God in our giving, and we will see. And then we get the day blessing that we just that's overflowing into our life. Amen. Hallelujah. So if someone says, "And the mama did it twice, maybe they don't believe in the word of God. The maybe this verse they don't. They may be having an encounter, or maybe they don't believe really believe in the scripture, and it's fine for them not to give their full tithes and offerings or." Mabalin nga, they read the Word of God. They believe the Word of God, but for some reason, we don't know, but it's okay for them not to keep their tithes and offerings. Or it's okay for them to rob God with their tithes and offerings. But as a believer in Christ, as we believe in His Word, we will obey. We will give our tithes and offerings. We will not Pendisyon natin mo lang niya. Niya po just throw our tithes in over it. And God will bless us. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's number two. That's number two. To be a doer of the word, we must be a believer. So dyan, number one, reader. Number two, believer. And number three, let's go to number three. Kung nangin ito, to be a doer of the word, we must do what it says. Do what it says. We must do what it says. Hallelujah. You know the story in Luke chapter 4, a mutajay story when Satan tempts Jesus and how does, asan may narami niya ako just like that? By quoting, ah, asan may narami niya Satan? By quoting scripture. So magkita tayo, Satan knows the word, right? He knows it very well, exactly na dyan ang surat siya by God. Yata din magana kini Jesus. So, Magita tayo dyan, number one, number two, He knows the Word of God. He believes the Word of God. He believes in the Word of God. Ngayon, kitang tayo dito yung number three. He's not a doer. Kitang tayo. He's not... He not do number three. So, kung nangang dito yung James 2 verse 9, You believe that there is one God. Good. Yet the demons believe them and shudder. So the mamatida, even the word of God, they believe in God. And the the sad thing is they shudder, shudder. They kitanan ni panag, they will tremble, they panag butangin na, but just they tremble in fear. So makita tayo dito yun. So if Satan does number one and number two, I believe that we Christian. We can be better than Satan, right? We actually have to obey the word. We have to open our Bible. 
We have to read it. And the number, number three, I'm going to read it. We have to do what it says. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus affirmed that God's, was, God's word is perfect that produces liberty or freedom. John chapter 8, verses 31 to 32. Jesus said to the people who believe in him, You are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. How do we know the truth if we don't read our Bible? How do we know the truth if we don't remain faithful unto the Lord? Hallelujah. Luke chapter 11 verse 28, he replied, Blessed, blessed rather are those who hear the word of God. And obey it. Or in other words, if we hear the word of God, we have to do it. Alright? As in, Nagasa. We are blessed if we hear the word of God and we do it, we apply it into our life. Amen? Amen. Are you good in something? Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Palanamat lang jay Romans 12 verse 13. For it is not those who hear the word of hear the law or the word of God who are righteous. It's not them who hear the law who are righteous in God's sight. But it is those who obey the law who will be declared righteous. Those who follow, those who do the, the word of God, those who apply the word of God will be declared righteous in our life. Amen? Amen. Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. You will follow my commandments. The Bible says also in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23, commanding Jesus, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only, do, only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. So, but only the one the one who does the will of God. Only those who do the word. And Quran may even say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your law and in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evil doers. So the challenge for us, we have to do the will of the Father. We have to obey in His word, right? So the Bible, if the Bible says that we we will do what we cannot do, we have to do it. If the Bible says we have, we should not do it, then don't do it, right? We don't look for excuses as a believer in Christ. We can listen to sermons, sermons, Bible studies for decades but if we never do anything about it mm -hmm. it's just useless right mm -hmm. the, the bible says in our text we are just deceiving ourselves mm -hmm. and we really we are not really growing in christ so as i'm going to end here psalm 9 19 7 to 11 about the word of the Lord. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. Amen. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. Hallelujah. That's the word of God. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more than precious than gold. That's the word of the Lord. Than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them, your servant is warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. In keeping the word of God, 
there is great reward. In following the word of God, there is a reward. So we have to keep it, we have to put it into action. We have to put it into practice. Amen? Amen. God does not want us just only, maybe today you just listen, you just take notes and say, we believe in the word of God. But God wants us to be to be a doer, to be a doer of His word. Amen, Papa. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we just pray? Hallelujah.